Lesson 14.2. How can you organize large amounts of data? Let's find out. Some students measure their heights. They record the data in a table. Are there any patterns in the data? You can make a line plot to look for patterns. What do the numbers in the table represent? Select your answer represents how tall are the heights of the students. Remember, the labels are on the chart. The numbers represent the heights of the students. How is this table different from the tables you used in the last lesson? This table lists each student's height instead of listing the names of students and their heights. To make a line plot, draw a number line and write a title and labels to fit your data. Then place a dot in the line plot for each number in the table. A line plot helps you organize data. What do you notice about the data on the line plot? The height that there is the most students is 49 inches tall. You can see that most of the students are 49 inches tall or less. Which height is the most common? Select your answer. The most common means it does, it has the most in it. So these are the most students. So it's gonna be 49 inches. Oh, click. Oh, we have to move it, sorry. There we go. The most common height is 49 inches. You know this because on the line plot, the number 49 has the most dots above it. Now you know how to use line plots to organize large amounts of data. Good job, guys.